everybody. Suki Willoughby here at Sargent's Art Academy and we're going to be painting some beautiful red treetops today and I'm going to help you from start to finish. This painting is a beginning intermediate painting. Uh, the beginning part for the beginner is going to be easy putting in the colors but we're going to do some fine work and some overlay work and some brush. I have to show you how to use some uh, techniques with your, your brush and we're also going to do uh, some vibrational work on the edges here which is very important. Putting in some of this blue coming in through here and we're going to do it all around the purple. You guys, we're going to put it and it's going to vibrate into the purple. I am using a number 12. This is a boar hair brush. You want to soak your brush on both sides and then you want to do a gentle scrubbing motion in between all of this dark, dark purple. All right, we're going to take red and it's just plain it's it's just plain red I'm gonna say it's a it's a warmer red um, this we're gonna fill in our canvas we're gonna get rid of our canvas and we're gonna start putting in this beautiful red in here and it's gonna stay on the uh, and we can and here's how you make a small vibration the reason that you like this painting is because it has a vibrational quality that is around, it looks like, right in here. So we're putting this beautiful energy that's barely around the edges of this, and then it causes a vibration. So that's what how you want to do it. You're barely putting a little bit on the edges. You can still see the paint through this application and you can make your you can make your fake painting a leaning feeling that's a leaning over that the, the clusters the leaf clusters are leaning over slightly I'm taking green and yellow now this is a this is more of a golden yellow and this is this is a very basic green I'm just going to take some uh, green Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hold your brush parallel to the canvas and then you're going to do a very lightly, barely touch the canvas movement where you go up and down in a very light scrubbing motion. That's why this is an intermediate class. And if you get any paint on your brush, just put more green on it. Good. So we're going to come down and we're barely putting any in there. I'm barely doing it. Boy. So it makes a perfect brush. I can draw with it and I can make lines with it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put in some really dark darks in here. And they're going to come in right in here. And I keep it nice and wet so that it will just... I always say put more water on your brush if it's not obeying. Okay, now we're going to use the lay it down and leave it there technique where you soak your brush. I give you permission to make a very thick statement here with this yellow 
mustardy color and you're going to use an up and down technique and the painting brush is parallel to the canvas so I'm holding it parallel so that I can lay the paint down and leave it there. When doing this technique you want to barely touch the canvas because your paint could be wet. Barely touch the canvas and drag the paint gently across in a th and leave the thick paint on there. You can also go in an up and down direction and a sideways direction. Now we're going to continue this lay it down, leave it there technique with the red paint and you're going to change brushes to a number six round nylon brush. So you just get thicker with the paint and lay it down and leave it there. There's no blending involved. This acrylic on canvas is easy and fun and we're using colors that people love to look at while they're painting. We're going to start out with a background doing a beautiful deep purple all in through here so that we can get the vibration and the underpainting that we're looking for. And then we're going to go in with dark red, medium red, light red, and then we're going to start filling in all the other stuff. We'll get there. <laughs> 